In these examples, we're going to apply the properties of operations yet again to generate equivalent expressions. So in the previous examples, we used the distributed property to kind of multiply things out. But it looks to me like here it's already multiplied out. So maybe we can work at factoring out the greatest common factor, and we can put it back and make it look like the distributed property. So let's think about the greatest common factor for a moment. We're going to ignore the variable, because there's only one variable and both terms don't have it, so we're, not going, to, we're going to ignore that for now. So let's just talk about these numbers, 20 and 15. What's the greatest common factor here? Well, is there anything that will divide out of both of them? Well, sure, a 5 will. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 15 divided by 5 is 3. So 4 and 3, is there another common factor? Well, no. So here's what this is going to look like. We're going to have the 5 outside, that's the greatest common factor that we're dividing out of both of these terms. And we're left with 4, but that first term had a y, so we need to include that y in there. And then plus 3 right there, so we'll put that 3 right there. We could have just as easily included the y right here, and when we divided out the 5, the y just came along for the ride. So if you're confused by the variable or kind of forget to bring them along, maybe go ahead and put them in this box as well. When we find the greatest common factor, he'll just keep coming along for the ride. So we're saying that 5 times the quantity, 4y plus 3, is the same as this 20y plus 15. But instead of using the distributive property to go from here to here, we're using what we call factoring to factor out the greatest common factor to go from here down to here. In this example, again, we want to find the greatest common factor of these two terms, and we want to divide it out. So if we have 16 and 24m, okay, well, 16 and 24, well, it looks like 8 will go into both of those. So when we take an 8 out, 16 divided by 8 is 2, 24 divided by 8 is 3, and the m kind of comes along for the ride. So 2 and 3 now don't have any more common factors. So their only common factor is 8, and that's our greatest common factor. So that 8 will come out here. So what does it look like now in the inside of my parentheses? Well, now that we've taken 16 and divided by 8 here, we got the 2 plus, and then 24 divided by the 8 was 3, and the m kind of comes along for the ride because we're not messing with him right now. So what this looks like is, is the 8 times the quantity 2 plus 3m is equivalent to 16 plus 24m because if we distributed down here we would get this and if we factored out the greatest common factor which was 8 we'll get this. In this final example let's see if we can generate an equivalent expression once again by factoring out the greatest common factor. So if we have 27a and 36b well, a and b, this one has a and this one has b, so once again the variables will ignore, because that's not a greatest common factor. But the numbers, 27 and 36, it looks like at least a 3 will come out. So 27 should give you an, a 9a and a 12b. And, oh, it looks like we need another 3 out of there. So when we divide it out, 3a and 4b. And then that won't go any further. So our greatest common factor looks like 3 times 3 equals 9. So we'll put a 9 out front. And what were the terms left over? Were 3a, and we have this plus sign that's going to just carry on, and then 4b. So once again, we're generating an equivalent expression by finding the greatest common factor between these two terms and pulling it outside. And then once we divide each one of those terms by that greatest common factor, we have some stuff left over, and that's what's going to go on the inside. Because it kind of looks like when we see something like this, we want to use the distributive property. So when we go to 9, distribute through here and here, that's where we'll get that 27a plus 36b. And if we factor it, we can take the greatest common factor out, and we'll go from here down to here.